are on, the bottom of the underside of a turtle. Four plates like that to make up the plastron. Turtle material for the Kimmeridge clay, particularly our exposure to Kimmeridge clay, is incredibly rare. A find like this is very, very uncommon. We are 80 miles offshore, back in the Kimmeridgean times, and it would have been a fairly deep tropical sea. And due to this, it wasn't the normal environment for turtles to be living in. find something like this here, especially when the bone is so thin and so fragile, incredibly uncommon. There are areas along the south coast of England where turtle remains are much more common, um, down towards Durlston and through the Cretaceous rocks there and over at Barton-on-Sea. This new turtle find will be one of very few that we actually have here in the museum. And currently, there are no pieces of turtle on display in the museum. This is something we'd like to change, but we haven't got round to doing it at the moment. What Steve is doing is he's cutting a trench round the specimen in the hope that eventually he can square that off <coughs> and cut deep enough to find a bedding plane where the whole slab will just shear off and lift out. And he's got to do this quite carefully and accurately given that this is such a fragile uh, specimen. So he, he's cutting quite deep so that hopefully it will, the slab will be thick enough that when it splits off it won't do any damage or crack through and damage the specimen any further than the ro than erosion already has. As you can probably tell, this takes quite a long time. This, this took about 20 minutes of Steve hammering and chiseling away to get this out.
That's all we've got for you today from the Etches collection. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more and hopefully we'll see you next time.